Hey there, and welcome to yet another episode of All Things Cloud. In this demo, we're going to have a look at going passwordless on a personal Android device. But before we continue, I'll start the video and show you how it works. Now, on my test device, I've already installed some of the applications we need. Uh, those are the, the, the Microsoft Authenticator app, and for demo purposes, I'm going to use the Outlook application. But before we start, um, I've also set up a user account and enabled the temporary access pass for that user account because that's what you need to enable phone sign in on uh, a mobile device. Now let's start the Authenticator app and then add a work or school account to continue. Click on the Authenticator application, click on Add Account, and then follow along the screen. I am assuming you know how to add a work account to the Microsoft Authenticator application, but for demo purposes, you can see here how it works. So I am adding a sign in method and then I will choose the Authenticator application, click on OK, and then continue on my phone to scan the QR code that has been provided here. After scanning the QR code, my account uh, will be added to the Microsoft Authenticator app. And then a little later on, I need to uh, confirm that everything is working as it should be before we can continue and enable phone sign-in within the Authenticator application. When you're ready, click on your account within the Microsoft Authenticator app and we'll uh, start enabling phone sign-in. Uh, as you can see here, see here, it's not enabled yet, but click on set up phone sign in and it will guide you through the steps that are needed to enable phone sign in. And this is where you need the temporary access pass that we configured for, for the test user. So enter your temporary access pass instead of a password. Mine's uh, set up for one time use only, so I can't use it uh, after this one. And um, when you're done, you will also need to register your Android device within the tenant. Now, iOS supports multiple tenants, but Microsoft is working on um, supporting that on Android devices as well. But we need to wait a little longer for that, I guess. So we're done. Uh, now we can use phone sign-in to sign into the applications uh, for our work, and we won't need to enter a password. As you can see here, a little later on, it will show you that you can use this phone for phone signing. Now let's start the Outlook application and then add our work account and see if it works. If you want to, you can also disable the phone signing from within the Microsoft Authenticator app. Okay. Start the Outlook application and then click on Add Account if it doesn't recognize your account. Uh, type in your email address and then click on Continue. It will send the notification to the Authenticator app. Uh, it will also show you a number in your screen and that's the number you need to enter within the Authenticator app to complete the sign-in. And that's it. Now it's configuring and confirming the app status. It will also check for app protection policies um, that I did configure. So it will ask me to set up a pin to access corporate data. And no, this is not my default pin. Well, it is actually for testing purposes, but just so you know. And that's it. We've configured Outlook without ever needing a password. Now, the other scenario I want to show you is the scenario where you can enroll for a work profile on a personal Android device. Let me hide myself in the screen first so you can follow along. Now, you need to install the Company Portal app 
open it and then sign in to the company portal app with your work account to enroll for a work profile, right? And that's what you're seeing here. You're also seeing another uh, browser screen because we're gonna use a feature that's called sign in from another device. Because you don't know the user's password, you can't just type in your email address and enter one. You could, of course, use a temporary access pass again, but I want to show you there's another method and that's sign in from another device. When you click on that, it will present you with a code and it will also show you an address where you can go to using a browser on any Windows device. And you need to type in the same code in the browser and then it will ask you to sign in using your account. Now, Jesse Wonka already configured um, passwordless for her account and she's using a FIDO2 security key to sign in. And that is what I'll do here again to complete the sign in. And then uh, the process will complete on the mobile device uh, and sign in from another device. And that's what you're seeing here. Now, when it's ready, you can start with beginning and, and enrolling the device for a work profile. The process is fairly easy to uh, follow along. Uh, you just uh, need a couple of minutes to complete the whole thing and you're ready for passwordless on your phone again. It will finish setting up a work profile, register the device in Azure Active Directory and you're done. You do have to be a little patient though, because uh, all the work applications uh, need to install um, in your work profile, right? But when it's done, you can just swipe up and then switch between the personal and work profile, as you can see here. Now, when you start the Outlook application, the user experience is, um, well, uh, very streamlined, I can say. Uh, you don't need to enter a password at all. Just type in your email address, click on continue, and you'll sign into the Outlook application. If there are any app protection policies configured for applications within the work profile, it will also assign them to this user, and then uh, you can read your email and configure all the other applications you need. But it's that easy. You've seen two scenarios where you can use a mobile device like, like a personal Android device. Um, I didn't type in any password, but you do have to have some things in place like the temporary access pass, of course, uh, and you might need to configure the, the phone sign-in as a passwordless sign-in method. Now, the phone sign-in is a method you can use on any device, any platform, um, uh, to sign into the Microsoft applications. So check out how that works and test for yourself and um, just implement it. It's a lot better experience for, for a user than having to remember all those tough passwords. Thank you and until next time.